Nervously experiment demonstrate that matter can display characteristics of both wave and particle. It also displays the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. Electron is a particle, as generally defined. After going through double slit, it exhibits interference patterns on the detection screen. Any detection at one of the slit will collapse the wave function. Electron is a configuration of momentum. Field momentum in spin trajectory. Electron only focuses to particle form when reacted, for example, connected to a proton. A free electron is highly extended to balance interaction with surrounding field. Once emitted from its source, electron begins circular extension. At double slit, center of electron passes through either slit, while its extensions, where most of the momentum are, passes through both. Disturbed by the slits, field momentum interferes with itself and becomes more wave-like. Any detection requires electron to focus its momentum to react. At the screen, electron needs to focus all its momentum to react with the screen. Momentum density was distributed out in wave fashion, which determines the probability of where we will focus to. Detection at sleep collapses the wave function. Any detection requires reaction, requires focused photon, electron, or any testing particles. Then focus momentum starts radial extension again from the slit it was detected, collapsing the wave probability. From wave to particle. Field momentum is transferring in and out of all field systems constantly. Even smaller molecules exhibit wave particle duality, which is the ability to refocus elsewhere when reacted. A more stable integrated field system, usually with more protons and electrons interlocked together, increases its field density, making it harder to refocus elsewhere, becoming more particle like. Lower density, lower surrounding to field system density difference, higher extension to core ratio, easier to refocus elsewhere, lower position stability equals lighter or less mass, and vice versa. That is why lower frequency or density electron has higher mobility than proton, and thus most of the moving in electric interactions. All few systems are constantly recreated because fundamental momentum and interaction can never stop or even slow down. A few system can only be maintained by constant absorption and emission of momentum. Photon is less stable, more wave-like, lighter. While a molecule is more stable, more particle-like, heavier. Photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons when light is shown to a material. Electrons that didn't absorb enough energy to escape will transfer the energy to a neighboring electron, till energy rendezvous at an electron that does escape, and the process repeats. Thus, effect is quick, because electrons do not collect energy alone, and absorbed energy is proportional to emitted energy. Increased light intensity increases number of escape electrons, but not speed, because escaping electron already has enough energy, and disengaged from the network of absorption. Thus, emitted electrons have same speed or energy. Lower frequency light, for example infrared, vibrates the metallic molecules on wide scale and cannot focus on individual electrons to assist its escape. Frequency determines speed of emitting electrons. Free electrons' frequencies are similar, so surplus energy of frequency is converted to kinetic speed once it escapes. Conclusion, light is wave, not particle. Quantum tunneling is the phenomenon where a particle tunnels through a barrier that it classically cannot surmount. This is a traveling electron. The barrier is a thin layer of neutrally charged matter. Electrons' outer extension can pass or transmit through the barrier to the opposite side. Usually, electron bounces back when its dense inner extensions interferes with the barrier's electrons' inner extensions because they do not want to disrupt their own configuration. But there's a chance electrons' outer extensions can pull its core through the barrier or recreate new core on the opposite side, especially if there's a positive ion on the opposite side. 
Quantum tunneling occurs in all fundamental particles. Because a field system has no definite parameter, just an area of influence, extending infinitely until it's interrupted by other influence. So really, matter and particle does not exist. Spin, line, random trajectories are just momentum traveling at light speed. Field momentum can never stop and transform to be a particle. Field momentum spinning at light speed, maintaining sync equilibrium, absorbing and emitting momentum, recreating itself constantly, just appears and behaves like a particle from an outsider's perspective. Field system can absorb and emit momentum because it is momentum itself. 